What's up everybody, Magic the Racing Dudes here to watch the UAE Derby bright and early on Saturday morning, March 30th here in Los Angeles. This race five at Maidan is a grade two million dollar purse, mile and three sixteenths distance and that is very key because the Louisiana Derby is the only other prep that goes this long. So a big stamina test from the betting perspective the favorite overseas is hit $1.75 for a dollar is forever young. He's three to five in the United States. I, the horse is brilliant. I can't touch him at that price here. Uh, so I'm not going to bet this race, but I am excited to see what he's able to do. He had a very hard race in the Saudi Derby, having to go very wide, come from way off of it. And he never changed his leads, and he still managed to just run down Bookham Dano, who's a really solid sprinter. I'm worried about him in this spot with his running style. If he gets left behind early, he might be in trouble, but looks like they're all loaded in the gate or just about all loaded in the gate here for the UAE Derby. I see Ballon d'Or, the Japanese horse is acting up. They're holding on to his tail. There's the 12 Panda Gate, the only American runner to, uh, to be in the gate this year. It looks like we are all set for it. Other than they can get Ballon d'Or to calm down. He does not, there you go. Big break there from uh, the two there, Oasis boy, who was exiting the Saudi Derby. I look for him to have an improved race. He's got Jockey Christoph Sumian aboard. Sumian has made it to the Kentucky Derby a couple of times with international horses. Already right there, you see Forever Young broke much better, but he was stuck four wide going to that first turn. See if they can bring him down. Uh, Mendelssohn Bay is up there close. I see that with the red and white stripes on his cap. The white cap... On the lead is Oasis Boy, same owner, same trainer. To his outside is Autobahn with Mikhail Barcelona aboard. Uh, also can see up close there. Well, maybe I can see. I'm having to go off of the color codes here. Uh, Pandagate is, I'm sorry, uh, Forever Young is looking very impressive, very solid. Pandagate is in behind him there. Uh, he's got Navy Seal with him. Henry Adams, the other Aiden O'Brien horse, he's up there as well. It's hard to know how fast they're going. We don't have times for it, and I'm not able to tell you kilometers per hour, but I can tell you from visually looking at him, Forever Young looks very, very comfortable there. It was nice to see him have a, a cleaner break and be up closer to the pace. That's Guns and Glory that's just ahead of him. Uh, I was trying to see there. Guns and Glory with a pink and green. Another one I think that could take a step forward, but looks like Forever Young is already passing. And again, a wide trip for this horse. Man. If he ever gets a good break against top horses on dirt, international horses, look out. Uh, boy, Autobahn's starting to take off on him, but see, Forever Young can stay with him. Does he change his leads? Boom. Forever Young just changed his leads. That's He never did in the Saudi Derby. This is a battle between these two. Autobahn's giving him everything he's got. Forever Young is going to hold him. What a hell of a race from Forever Young. Well, uh. I don't know how that's not a top two, three horse for the Kentucky Derby right there. Super impressive. Sub 158 for the mile and 316. So it was 157.89 as they crossed. Much better looking forever young than what we saw in the Saudi Derby. Much better looking. He broke cleaner. He was up closer early. He changed his leads. I can't harp on that enough. He changed his leads when it was important, when he needed to at the top of the stretch. And he battled away from a horse that had been on the front end, Autobahn running comfortable. Uh, Pandagate up late for third. Good to see him. And there was a big gap there back, but uh, Pandagate a, a good third. Forever Young is going to go to the Kentucky Derby undefeated. That is just so impressive. Like, like that's something that uh, you don't see too often these days. And now the question is going to be, can he handle going to America? Can he handle facing those horses? But if you have a future ticket on Forever Young, congratulations, because whatever price you got him on in the future wagers, he's not going to be that in the Kentucky Derby gate. And that's what you want with a future bet, right? Is you want to get a horse at better odds earlier than the Derby than what he will actually be come Derby time. So a very, very impressive effort there. Uh, Pandagate got up for third, and it looks like Mendelssohn Bay, the 10 horse, got up for fourth. There you see the connections celebrating. So I'm so happy to see that Forever Young changed his leads. <laughs> because if he didn't change his leads in this race, I was going to say he's a complete toss for me in the Kentucky Derby. As far as the Kentucky Derby goes, I know the Japanese have never won the Kentucky Derby. A lot of people like to say, the Japanese are never winning. It's a question of when, not if. And 
if not this year not, not this year when like there's no american horse that's made us go holy smokes like with later today we'll see fierceness we'll see timberlake uh we'll well moose not a kentucky derby contender but we'll see those horses later today and maybe one of them will wow us but right now forever young has to be considered right there at the very top so that's what i think about it let me know what you think down below in the comments section before you leave hit like on the video subscribe to youtube.com slash racing dudes comment below with who your kentucky derby horse is so is it forever young is it somebody else let me know i'd love to hear from you until next time i'm magic good luck